got no cushion. <laughs> Someone, Craig, go ahead. Hey, Kim. Brian Howell from Motor Daily Camera. Uh, your overall experience, we haven't talked to you this season, but uh, how do you feel like your season's gone so far? I know you didn't start in that lineup, but then since you've gotten in the starting lineup, you've made an impact for you. Um, it's, been, it's been exactly what I've been looking for, for the most part. I mean, I can't, coming from Jackson, I wanted to, um, I know I need to be developed. So this season is all about being developed and um, coming in, having to play slusher going out early and having to play a different position. It was, it was a great experience for me because I've never had to play that close to the ball. I normally play free safety for the most part. So it's been um, it's been exactly what I needed, developmental. So it's been good. Hi, Cam. Adam, let's tell you 24-7 sports. Mm -hmm. We've obviously seen the, the defense show improvement. Also, uh, tackling issues st still kind of cropping up from mm -hmm. time to time. From your vantage point, what are the areas uh, that the defense has shown the most improvement? Um, honestly, um, everything, um, everything as a whole. I mean, as a unit, um, we slipped, we slipped a little towards midway through the season. But um, for the most part, everybody just really just dialed in, and people take for granted. But it, it took us a minute to really jail and really learn each other and learn who was who. So um, we we kind of learned, got got more close knit with each other, and it just helped the whole defense as a whole because a defense is a group you depend on. You just like one person not his gap, it makes the, makes the whole defense look bad. So it's just, it was the small things. At the beginning, that was that was killing us. So we just paid attention to everything we do, like the little things we do, like where the shirt tucks in, like the little stuff like that. We got better at, and it made us better at, on the field. Hey, Cam, Nick Edwards, you sports report. You've seen Trevor Woods make the move from linebacker. What do you see from him when you're standing behind him and you see him in that leading role? I mean, he's a big, he's a big reason um, why our defense changed a lot. I mean, Trevor is a, is a very smart guy. Like he thinks different than everybody else on defense. He's another, he's like our brain. When he, when he moved down the linebacker. So it was on, it's been great. I mean, he's been he's been getting used to it because he get a lot of banging, more banging than he have in the past. But um, he's been he's been great at he's been doing his thing. Cam, this defense has been extremely opportunistic this year. You've generated a lot of turnovers this year. You've been a part of a lot of them. What would you attribute that to? Is it the defensive style you guys play, or is mm -hmm. it just the individual talent and combination? It, um, it's playing hard. I mean, it's simple simple as playing hard. It's simple as everybody gets to the ball. I mean. We look at um, the turnovers from this year, and we don't have a lot of turnovers with those give me turnovers like tips that just fall in our hands. Like a, a lot of our, all of our turnovers almost are like real, like we knocking the ball off people or we going to get the ball. So we just playing hard and we just do what we do, and the ball just been finding us. Playing for Prime before and now playing here, mm -hmm. how would you say that the program has developed here over the first year of this experience? I mean, it's been. I'm um, Coach Prime. What, what you see now is what I've been seeing. Like, it's no, nothing new to me. I mean, he's coached the same way. He coached the players are starting to play the same way that we used to. So it's the same for me. I mean, we develop in the same way. Just um, a hard hat mentality. Just coming out and working hard. So first, so we just. It took a lot. It took us a minute to catch up to his speed and catch up what he wanted to do. But um, we, we're there, just working hard. That's the Coach Prime method. How have you enjoyed playing playing in Boulder? I mean, it's a bit of a culture change. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I've loved it. I mean, I've loved it. It's been, it's been all football for me, honestly. I mean, just the being, being out there and seeing, I see it. Uh, we set the home attendance record. Like that's been awesome. I've never, I've we played a lot of sold out games in Jackson, but I've never played in a game that was them this loud and the people are disengaged to the game. Like my mom and dad. Like I have a little sister that all that hate standing up all the time, but my mom and dad got a hold on his shoulder so she could see the game. So that people standing up the whole game. Like we not we just not used to that like coming from Jackson. Like that didn't happen. So people are really enjoying it um, and really into it and people know what's going on around here. Like people are not just out here just saying I like Colorado. Like they know you, they know what you do, where you're from. So it's it's been awesome. It's been a lot of love. Pat Rooney, Fully Daily Camera. Uh, coach was just in here saying that Washington State feels like pretty similar to your team. How does that affect your preparation this week and, you know, especially with a, a short week to get ready? I mean, it, it doesn't change. If your preparation changes every week, you don't believe in what you're doing. That's what Coach Kelly always say. So um, we're going to prepare for them like we prepare for everybody else. Um, lock in on the film. Make sure you get your fi film hours up so Coach Prime won't yell at you. So uh, most part, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing. I mean, we, we've been playing pretty well. We just got to learn how to win. So. We're gonna keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully at the end we just learn how to win. Right. Jim, what are your impressions of Washington State as you watch them? Obviously, pretty talented quarterback. They yeah. have them down offensively, but what are your impressions as you watch them? 
Um, they throw the ball a lot. They throw the ball around a lot. I mean, they got a lot of guys that can make plays in space. They have a lot of. They have a lot. Have a real talented quarterback back there. Um, experienced guy. So um, it's gonna be a tough task, but it's nothing we haven't seen before. Three more go, Ryan. Again, you said Trevor thinks differently. Um, can you give an example of just like how he shows that? I mean, a li like little things like um, going into going into um, just an example, going into Colorado State game. Um, we put in a, uh, was putting in a point fake, and we called it Ram, like Ram, Ram, Ram. So Trevor, we sitting to me, Trevor, like, if I hear Ram in the game, I'm gonna know it's a fake, cause like they the, they was the Ram. So he's saying we playing with somebody, they be like Buffalo, Buffalo. I'm gonna know it's a fake. So just little stuff like that. I mean, like he just thinks different than a lot of people think. So it's, he sees stuff from a different eye. Mm. With you being an experienced guy in that safeties group, I wanted to ask you about a young guy that, that's flashed a little bit. Jaden Milliner Jones, what would have been your impressions of his development as a team? Uh, he, he's grown up. I mean, I've, that's kind of, we come from, he, he's a prime guy coming up. So he played at Truth. So I've seen Jaden around all my life, honestly. So um, just coming up through prime. So um, when he came here, I kind of tried to put him on my wing and teach him which ways to go and who, who to hang around and what to pay attention to. I mean, because like after practice every day, I go lift like any day, every day after practice today. I mean, since the break, I've been doing that. Like after practice, I go lift today. Jaden Scrat along with me today. So it's the I just him just, he's just been growing up a lot and understanding what he gotta do. I mean he gonna he's gonna be amazing. Like he's somebody to look forward to. I I believe in him so much. Like honestly, like if I have to if we have to use count on Jaden, I can count on him because he's a young guy, but he has an older mentality and he's really learning the game and learning how to prepare for it. That's one go ahead, Pat. Background especially at Christ time. This is all the season he's seen never looked his real way. The Dr. J mm -hmm. stuff on the Who would you want to see show up maybe next year? It's been, it's been awesome. I mean, we um the celebrities they come through and they we learn that they're normal people just like us. I mean, they they respect us. And they know they know what's going on. They know us. So it's been awesome. I mean, um, a guy I was named after of Cameron, the rapper, he came through here. So to see him for the first time, like it was crazy because like I was told him like, bro, I'm, I'm named after you. So it, that's been that's been awesome. I mean, you meet people that your parents never thought that you would meet. So it's been it's been great. Probably next year. I want to see like um probably my favorite rapper, Lil Baby. So I see, see Lil Baby come through here every once in a while. It'll be fun. <laughs> right, thanks, Cam. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Thanks, Cam.